Welcome again guys. Welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. And in this video lecture, I'll be talking about the difference between DNA polymerase and RNA polymerase enzyme. You know, this both of these enzymes are very, very important enzymes in a cell for two vital processes to occur. One is the DNA replication, another one is the transcription of the DNA into RNA. Now, DNA polymerase is the prime enzyme that is required for the DNA replication process. That means it is required to produce a daughter DNA from the father DNA. Okay? So, this is required for the replication process. On the other hand, RNA polymerase is the vital enzyme for the process of transcription. So, it is required for the production of RNA which is a single stranded molecule RNA from the DNA okay so it helps in the transcription process this is the first difference between DNA polymerase and RNA polymerase now as far as the structure goes I can tell you one thing is that RNA polymerase is much more versatile compared to the DNA polymerase enzyme because the process of DNA replication is complicated and involves so many different enzymes not only the DNA polymerase we need helicase for unwinding the DNA strand we need single stranded binding protein to separate the strands of the DNA from each other and we also need uh, the topo isomerase enzymes for un, uh, I, I mean uh, for the uh, opening of the supercoiling of the DNA and also it requires ligase enzymes for uh, for the sealing of the NICs, it requires so many other varieties of proteins in different situations. So, DNA polymerase in that sense is not that versatile. It cannot do the complete job of DNA replication on its own. On the other hand, RNA polymerase is much more versatile because RNA polymerase is the only enzyme that is required for the transcription process to occur at the start point. So, that is making RNA polymerase a very important choice. I mean, it is very, very uh, versatile enzyme it has multiple subunit that acts differently while DNA polymers also have different units it has the unit for majorly two purposes one is the polymerization part another unit uh, known as the exonuclease or proofreading part so DNA polymerase can polymerize from 5 prime to 3 prime the direction of polymerization and the direction of exonuclease activity is 5 prime to 3 prime as well as 3 prime to 5 prime. RNA polymerase have the same features. RNA polymerase can also polymerize from 5 prime to 3 prime. So, this is a similarity between them. But the thing I told you for the process of DNA replication and transcription, we need the DNA to be separated, the strands of the DNA to be separated from each other at the first place. That process cannot be achieved by DNA polymerase itself it requires a accessory protein known as DNA helicase to unwind the strands to open the strands of the DNA then the polymerase can uh, process it so it, it requires helicase to un to separate strand strands okay but on the other hand in RNA polymerase they don't require any helicase RNA polymerase have different subunits and one of that subunit can separate the strands of the DNA prior to the process of transcription. So, this RNA polymerase can do that on its own. It can separate DNA strands on its own. Okay? This is another difference here. Okay? Another thing about both this case, like in DNA replication, and transcription. In both this case, we need the most important part of polymerization. That's why the enzymes do polymerase, means that the functionality of this enzyme will be polymerization. In case of DNA polymerase, it will polymerize deoxyribose nucleotides. In case of RNA polymerase, it will polymerize ribose nucleotides. But the actual goal is to polymerize nucleotides. Now, in case of DNA polymerase, DNA polymerase enzyme cannot initiate the process of polymerization. It can only do the polymerization only if 3 prime hydroxyl group of, there is a free 3 prime hydroxyl group present in 
the template or attached with the template. That is the important feature required for DNA polymerase to work. But RNA polymerase don't require any nucleotide to begin with. It can start the process of transcription and polymerization on its own from the beginning. That is the important feature of RNA polymerase. So RNA polymerase can do the de novo synthesis. Of RNA but in this case DNA polymerase cannot initiate the process uncapable no de novo synthesis here so even in the DNA replication process at the start point we require one RNA polymerase to attach a nucleotide sequence known as the DNA primer the RNA primer now that primer has a free type 3 prime hydroxyl group which DNA polymerase can extend so at the end of the replication process, they need to cleave this RNA primer out and fill this gap with the deoxyribonucleotide sequences. That is an extra job need to be done. That is another important difference. Another important difference I want to talk about is that about their processivity. DNA polymerase on the other hand is really, really fast while RNA polymerase is not that fast. DNA polymerase can add up to 800 nucleotide sequences per second. So this is really fast. On the other hand, RNA polymerase can add up to only 20 to 40 nucleotide sequences per second. So this is slower. Okay. Otherwise, if you look at the structural differences, you know, there are different types of DNA polymerase, polymerase 1, 2, 3, and there's a specific structure of DNA polymerase where they don't have the 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease activity. They only have a polymerase activity of 5 prime to 3 prime and exonuclease activity of 5 prime to 3 prime. That is known as the cleaner of fragment, okay. We can also use that uh, for different in vitro experiments. So cleaner fragment is generated from our DNA polymerase that we can use in different in vitro studies and experiments, which is not present in case of RNA polymerase. There are no cleaner fragments from RNA polymerase, okay? So that in a sense is the differences between DNA polymerase and RNA polymerase. I hope this video helped you out. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel to get more important videos like that and definitely share this video with your friends. Thank you.